Hi everybody, Bobby Watts from Chimp Systems here, and today I'd like to talk to you about the Dalcon, and in particular, its programming software, the Dalcon Light Link. So, in order to program your Dalcon, which is our computerized light unit, which allows you to either fly in pattern mode or in music mode to where all your channels can flash exactly how you want to the music, you need to go first to our website and download the free Light Link software. So let's take a look chimpsystems.com forward slash Dalcon. Now when you get here, you're going to see this picture right here, Dalcon Light Link Download. So we're going to click that, and you're going to see Dalcon Light Link version 1.0, or whatever version it may be, dot zip. We'll save the file, unzip it, load it, and everything. So I've already got that loaded on my computer, so I'm just going to cancel out of that, and I'm going to show you. So what it's going to do is create an icon here on your desktop, and we're going to click on Dalcon Light Link. Once again, totally free software. You don't even need to purchase our Dalcon system or anything yet. Um, it's completely free for you guys to try out, and I really think you're going to like it. So, Dalcon Light Link. Here's what we got. This is Light Link in its entirety. So, first on the top left, you're going to notice that it says Dalcon Light, Light Link not found. So, it pretty much is saying your Dalcon is not hooked up right now via the USB cable. This is fine, this is how we've created it, so that you can sit here, you can program it on the road, you can program it on an airplane, at, at work, or at home, anywhere. You can program it anywhere, save your file, flash your Dalcon later, and then send it to it without even being near it for most of the time. Now, every single Dalcon that comes out of our factory is pre-installed in what we call pattern mode, right here. Pattern mode is simply just a set of different patterns that we pre-program, and every time you flip your switch um, that's associated with the signal port from the Dalcon, it's going to cycle to a new pattern. When you flip it up, it's going to turn all the lights on. When you flip it down, it's going to cycle to your next pattern and so forth. So if you're flying around with the music, pattern mode is what you want. Once again, this comes pre-installed with the Dalcon. Now, if you want to fly in what we call music mode, uh, music mode makes your lights sync exactly to the beat, exactly how you program them then you're going to want to really utilize this light link software if at any time you ever want to go from music mode back into pattern mode simply plug your Dalcon in click pattern mode one time it will not show you any sort of confirmation or anything plug it in click pattern mode unplug it and you're back in pattern mode but now let's show you how to do music mode so what I'm going to do first is I'm going to create a project let's call it um, Dalcon light link uh, demonstration Wonderful. Now we're going to save the project, and I always tend to save it on the desktop just so that I can move it around later. And it saves as a DAT file. The beauty of saving a DAT file is the fact that once we load our music in here, and you guys want to send your DAT files amongst yourselves, or maybe you want to send it to a friend or something, simply email them the DAT file. When they get it, it'll include the song, it'll include all their channels, all their mapping, everything. You don't need to send anything else except for the DAT file. It's pretty sweet. So now that we've um, created our project and saved it, now we're going to go into the rest of the program. So as you can see here on the left hand side, I've got eight channels that I've got to work with. Um, a different channel is whatever you want it to be. So for instance, we're going to go into preferences here. We can rename everything just to make it look a little bit more simple as we're programming. So channel one, for instance, I always make that my canopy. Um, it's usually a good amount of lights on my canopy, so that's my canopy one. Now channel two, I'll put a few more lights on the canopy and put it in a different color. They're kind of like low beams, so I call it low, low canopy, just for fun. Channel three is always my tail boom. Channel four is my tail fin. You could make channel five your skids. You could make six a different uh, tail boom color. We include nine feet of light. So there's a lot of different variety that you can do here in turning things on and off. So now the other thing that you're going to notice here in this menu is you can re, uh, rename or redesignate each keystroke for the channel. So right now it comes um, factory default as the QWERTY as your top keyboard row. So you can click here and change your key if you want to. I'm used to it being the QWERTY key, so I just, that, that's just fine for me. So click OK. Now you're going to see on the right hand side the little dots over here, you're going to see that when I press Q, um, my channel 1 lights up. When I press W, channel 2 lights up, and so forth and so forth all the way down to 8. When I press A, they all light up. 
Now, the next step that's very important, it'll just save you a little bit of time later, is I always turn off all the channels that I'm not using. That way, let's say if I program this one and then maybe later on I get something cool to where, oh cool, I can turn my blades off, or oh, let, I want to add another strand of lights to channel 5, then all you have to do is reactivate it and it turns back on. When it turns white or purple, that means it's deactivated. So notice now when I press the A key, only my first four channels are, are firing, one, two, three, four, and so forth. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to load a music file. So click load music file and I've already created a light link demo music file. As you can see here it pulls up the uh, uh, the sound waves and whatnot. This will help you as a guide when you're programming. You can see when the song gets to a lower level or peaks and whatnot. It, it's a little bit easier to see. So we've loaded our music file. Now we're ready to program. So the first thing that I want you guys to notice is the fact that we include a Dalcon intro.mp3 file when you unzip the program. This is very, very important in synchronizing your Dalcon with the music. Now, if any of you guys have ever been to a fun fly or a large event where there's a sound guy and whatnot, those guys work very, very hard all weekend. But it's very hard as soon as we wave our hand for them to start the music, there's always seems to be a five to 10 second delay between, between the time where they hit the button and whatnot. So you need to give yourself some time to prepare for that, that key point. So what you really need to do is you need to make sure that you flip your switch exactly where you need to in the music. So we've created this Dalcon intro. This is what you're going to see here. What it says is Dalcon has been activated. Begin synchronization. Three, two, one, beep. Now when you hear the beep, this is when you're going to flick your switch from the uh, uh, active, the arm position down. And when you flip it down, that's going to begin the sequence. So what we've done is we've already created a start sequence with Dalcon intro button right here. Bam, I click that. Now the beginning of my sequence, this is the, the sequence starter right here. The beginning is already lined up exactly where it needs to be in the Dalcon track. You guys will see that as I program it here. Now if I want to, I can right click on this and I can fine tune it by um, negative one second to positive one second. So if you aren't quite happy with exactly how it's lining up, you can really, really fine tune it. But this right here, most times, depending on how your music mixing software does things, should line up perfectly. So as you can see, I'm going to show you a screenshot of what I've already done using GarageBand. I've put the Dalcon intro at the very, very, very beginning. And then the rest of it, I just put the rest of my music. I just, whatever I want. So I've loaded up a demo sequence. I've used um, some music that I've recorded in the past for copyright reasons so that uh, various lawyers don't come after me. So sit back and now I'm going to show you exactly how to program and you can watch my live programming of the um, Dalcon uh, Lightlink Demo.mp3 track. So here we go. It's about two minutes long. So I'm going to show you picture in picture on my key so you can see exactly what I'm hitting. And this is how we program the Dalcon. So here we go. Dalcon has been activated. Begin synchronization. Three, two, one.